What up, YouTube? It's your main man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another fucking video. Now, I'm going to do a quick video because I have a test I got to go do for my accounting class. Um, it's at 7, but I, it's and it's only 5.30 here in Texas, but I need to finish do, writing up a cheat sheet that we're allowed to have. Um, but anyway, what, what I want to talk about real quick is our safety position. You already know that I don't want Heath there at the starting spot. I think we need a better safety. Um, there's a couple in the draft. Um, I know Oral Thomas is a free agent. A lot of guys want to go get him, but will we have the money? And looking like the number, if if everybody plays their part with with Zeke, Dak, Cooper, um, what's his name, Lawrence, you know, we get those guys. I think we, you know, we will have the money to uh, dish out to a free agent now do we want to give it all to one or do we want to break up that 12 13 14 million dollars we'll have left over to give it to a couple role-playing guys um what i feel we should do is look landon collins he cleared out his locker room for the giants he's a he, he's a free agent but i feel like they're gonna place the franchise tag on him I feel like they're going to place a franchise tag on him, but he's going to sit out the whole year from my understanding, or he is what he said. Um, if the Giants place a franchise tag on him, they send him out a year, then hey, you know what? That's good for us. That, that That's good for us because that's a key part of their defense that won't be there. That won't. That won't. Um, now, if there's any way we can get a Landon Collins via free agency, of course, we're never going to trade for this guy. But if we can, I think he'd be a big asset. Yes, everyone wants Earl Thomas, and I would love an Earl Thomas because the ball hawk that he is, the leadership skills that he has would be awesome to bring this unit in the secondary together. These young guys, you know, Cheeto, um, Byron Jones, um, Woods, I think they would – they would – listen and they would come together like the way uh um Jaden Smith and 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 Jalen Smith and um LVE did with underneath the wing of Sean Lee I think Earl Thomas can do that for our secondary um but at the same time if you go out and get a Landon Collins I it's not that much of a step down it's really not it's they're almost right there. Like I know Earl Thomas is up here, but Landon Collins is, is just right underneath him. It's not much of a difference. I mean, he's a bigger, faster, stronger dude. Um, yes, he has injuries here and there, but at the same time, this is a dude that knows his shit. And he can play. And he can. He has that leadership like an Earl Thomas. So those are two big safety names. Um, if like I said. Earl Thomas is a free agent for sure, but we're not going to get in a bidding war because there's reports that Green Bay wants him. You know, Green Bay wants him. That's cool. He's not in our division. I can give two shits. He can go over there. He's not going to make he, – he'll make that defense better, but he won't make the defense because we know that they need a defense and they need pieces around um, Aaron Rodgers for them to even be a playoff or a successful team. Um, and that just breaks down this motherfucker – Okay, my bad. I hate dude. Like, this dude just came around my front. You saw him. I know you saw him. He went behind my car and parked right, not next to me, but the space up, like, corner to me, you know, adjacent to me. I thought he was going to park right next to me. I mean, look, look. You got, I'm just going to show you. You got all that parking and all that parking, and this motherfucker want to park right there. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh, dude. I hate that shit. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um... Yeah, a Landon Collins would be a big asset and a big pickup if we were to be able to get him in free agency. Now, I don't know how much of a bidding war people would want to get in, would would have for Landon Collins because Earl Thomas is the prize in free agency for some people. Um, it'd be a great prize for us, but it's not the, I guess, the jackpot for us. Um, he would be a great asset, but, asset, but I feel that they're – is just as good of an ass, ass just as good of assets coming out the draft this year. Um, like I said, a Landon Collins would be a pretty badass pickup if we were to get him via free agency. 
Of course, we're not going to trade for him. We're not going to do any of that shit. Um, and we're not going to overspend for the for this guy. Because our key components, I feel like what we're trying to do, ever since Stephen Jones took over, yes, Jerry still writes the checks. Yes, Jerry does his interviews. But it's Stephen Jones at the helm to me. That's what it feels like. It's Stephen Jones. And Stephen Jones is getting this team in the right direction. Now, do I feel they need to, you know, with all this talent that we got and... And we're only able to do what we or have been able to do the past three years because we got some serious fucking talent and we're only able to get to the divisional round. No, I think that's a coaching issue now. And I think there's I think Stephen Jones is starting to see that. And I think after maybe this year, like I said, we were two or three years away. If we were to keep our key point, our key components together, excuse me, um, you know, fix our O-line. But Dak, Zeke, Coop, Byron Jones and um the d law you know if we were to keep our key components together with the right coaching staff this is a super bowl caliber team no question no doubt about it and this is not me being a homer this is not being me being none of that shit it's just the talent that's on this team i think the disservice that's being done to them is the coaching staff that is there and that's because of jerry you know Jerry's more of an emotional type of spender instead of a businessman when it comes to his Cowboys because he wants to do right by you. And yes, it's all good and dandy. But at the same time, this is a business. This is, you know, we need to get the best player available. And, you know, when your dude's not producing, but you still want to pay him because you want to do right by him. Nah, that's not that's not going to fly. That's why we've been in the position that we've been in. But that's another video. That's something else. But again, a Landon Collins to this Cowboys team not only would make us better, it would cripple the Giants' defense. And it would just give us that much more of an edge. Because you know that when the Cowboys release a player, they always go to an NFC East divisional team. And they always thrive there. At least when they go to the Giants, they do. Like Canty did. Uh, Miles Austin did all right. Um, who's, who's recent that went to Washington? Um, but I don't know. I feel like the NFC East guys, they always intertwine with each other in, in the NFC East. Um, but like I said, a Landon Collins to this team would be awesome. Now, like I said, I'm not all for, over, I'm not for overspending for this dude. I'm not trying to trade for him. If he's there and we can afford him and get him, do it, do it. If not, we're going to the draft. Same thing with Earl Thomas. But like I said, I got I got a test I got to go study for. I got, I got some cheat sheets I got to write down. Or I got some things I got to write down on a cheat sheet. But again, landing cons to the Cowboys would be awesome. I'm out. Peace.